everyone welcome back to the channel this is again the stitching colorist with michelle lewis shelly lewis even so this is flush tube 54 part two now this will be probably a couple of days later for you however however it will be just a couple of hours later for me i did film part one today uh, I've uploaded that and I thought, you know what, I'm going to film part two and at least I can get some more stuff sorted out. Because what I'm doing is I'm doing cross stitch stash clear out, mainly of my stamp kits. So we'll get started. Now, I've got teddies in the background. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> The reason being is because the cat has pinched my seat, so we're just going to roll with it. So I've got a bag full of stuff here, as in here. I've got some odd, odd ends that's not actually a kit that I want to go through that I'm going to have a look at. So the first thing I've got is this. This is like a floss board. Now I won this at the retreat I went to last time in september these are meant to keep your little floss bits in now i won this off this was what actually tish roberts bought it so i would kind of like to keep this because obviously with it being from tish from my roommate i would like to keep that so i'm going to put that in the keep pile which i'm going to just put on the side there so the next bit is my project that's in my stitching bag from Ebony. Now you know what project's in here, it's the Mickey Mouse one. Um, I forgot what her name is, Tracy. I think it's Tracy Scrapdose. She's doing this one as well. It is obviously Mickey Mouse with the grey background. Now, for obvious reasons, I will be keeping this one because I've been enjoying stitching on this. Got a bit of a knobbly bit there. Now, because I've started doing uh, 50 by 50s, will I do 50 by 50s on this because I've actually stitched round there and I've gone down? Um, yeah, I think I will. I think I'm going to turn that into a 50 by 50. So basically, I've gone down there. I'll be going across here, across, and then up. So basically, I'll be stitching this bit here and that bit. So that will be on the keep pile. Because I would like to keep that one. I'd like to keep that one. And now the cat's deciding he's actually going to go in his bed after all. So that's going to go on the keep pile. Now this one, I've got it in a zippy bag. My brother's calling, I'll call him back in a minute. Now this one is from VIP Cross Stitch. Now this one I will keep because the simple fact is it's Harry Potter and it's the new kind of Harry Potter version that I absolutely love and I haven't had it for that long either so we've got that Harry Potter there uh, have I been doing 50 by 50 on this yeah because I've only recently started no I haven't because I've only recently started doing the 50 by 50s uh, block so what I'll be doing with this as well is my 50 mark is there so I will be going across to the 50 and then I will be going up and filling that bit in so yeah that is a keep by the harry potter well by vip cross stitch not by the harry potter so i'll be keeping that one right we have next i don't know which one this i've got to find the bag where this uh belongs in um it's frozen it's not actually frozen, the kit's not frozen itself. <laughs> it's a frozen kit. Did you get me this one? The Elsa? Yeah. I can't remember. 
Now, I did a face on here a little bit and I did a tiny bit down there, but other than that, I haven't done anything else on this. Now, because the printing is clear on this, there is a bit of confetti. There is a bit of confetti. However, because I'm going to be stitching it bit by bit, I could have done my stitching the light on, because I've been stitching it bit by bit, I might keep that in the keep pile for now, which I've got to find the bag where the floss is in that one because that was just in my bag. <laughs> yeah, so that is in the keep pile. Now, obviously, I'm keeping this one because this was a new kit. Um, I've recently purchased this. It's by Little Duff Designs and it's Gingerbread Cottage. Somebody was selling it on Facebook. I rarely buy anything on Facebook now because the simple fact is I can't get a sniff in because all the good stuff's gone. <laughs> but yeah, I was lucky with this one. Um, I might just get that and I thought it'd be a cute stitch for Christmas. So yeah, I only recently purchased that. So that'll be definitely staying in the keep pile. So that's that one. Now this one, what have we got in here? It's in one of these, I love these bags. They're good for uh, cheap, but ah, I know what this is. I have a funny feeling I'm not going to be doing very good on the uh, <laughs> pass on, uh, get rid of pile in this one. This is from Biggest Craft. They sent me this kit for a review. I haven't got a larger picture, I'm sorry, but it's of the gothic girl with the black wings. I love it. I really, really love it. I haven't stitched a lot on this at the minute, but the printing on it is crisp. It is really, really good. Now, I haven't done, obviously, the 50 by 50 because, like I said, I've only just started doing it. So all these kits that I am stitching, I will be transferring on to 50-50. I should just find my 50 mark, which is there. And I'll be going across the 50 and then going up and filling that space in there. So, yeah, I'm keeping her. <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping that one as well. So, what have we got in this? I think I might pass this one on, you know. So, oh, it's so cute though. We've got the girl and a fox, the girl with the ginger hair, with the absolutely curled up with a fox. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's such a gorgeous picture. But like I said before, um, I've got to try and be a bit strict with myself now. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get these stuff cleared if I don't part with some of them. The printing on it is relatively clear. Well, actually, it's really clear. Um, I did start doing this in tent stitch. Luckily, I don't think... Actually, it was in the corner here. It was in the top corner here. I started doing it in tent stitch. I found that it just wasn't for me. I tried doing it. I couldn't do it. So I've reverted it back to normal cross stitch. Um, I like it. I don't want to get rid of this one. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that one. <laughs> we'll come back to that one. I like it. It's too cute. Look at that. How can you part with that? If it was, if the printing was bad uh, or I'd totally messed up on it, then yeah, fair enough, I'd understand. But because the printing is really good on it and it's just such a cute design, I, I just, I can't part with that one. This one, I'm not sure which one this is from. I think this one might have been one that I actually purchased myself because I have purchased a couple of the kits myself. So I'll just pop that there. Now, the next one, I've got it in my school bag that I think I got this from the April retreat last year. 
from Ladybird. Now, I'm keeping this for the reasons because, <laughs> for one, that obviously I got it at the retreat. But for second, it's a gecko rouge. <laughs> I'm not giving away a gecko rouge now. They don't come cheap. However, this one was cheaper at the retreat because somebody was selling it on the for sales table. It's by the design is by Trevor Smith and it's a dragon silhouette and it's stitched on a 25 count. Now, as I was just saying, I could not take to tent stitch on those uh, stamped kits. However, I learnt from my mistake. <laughs> I've tried stitching an heaven and earth design before We're using a 25 count. I tried stitching one over one. I found I didn't like it because it wasn't it wasn't enough coverage. You could still see the fabric coming through. So then I switched to two over one. Still didn't like it because the stitches were too tight, it was too clumpy. So I went back to one over one because I thought, you know what, I'm going to try one over one again. Still didn't like it. <laughs> oh, still didn't like it. So when I started this one, I knew it was a 25 count. I thought, I'm going to try it two over half and just do it like two strands of thread and just do it in 10 stitch. And yay, I found my... I found my 25 count of fabric stitches to use on it. Look at the coverage on that. That is tent stitch. Uh, that, it works really well for me on that. For some reason, tent stitch doesn't work well for me on stamp kits. For others, it does. Uh, if you watch the boogie stitcher, she does most of her stamped kits in uh, tent stitch now. And they look lovely. They really do look good. But for me, I think it's because I've been just doing... Uh, full crosses for so long I'm just used to it however on this one it works out really well you can't see any of the fabric through those stitches so yeah I absolutely love it will I be doing uh, 2500 stitches when I work on this no for the simple fact is for one they're not full stitches and for second it's going to be hard to try and count them all because I'm doing this using a paper pattern so I'm just going to use this kit for when I just fancy just doing something easy and something that I can hold in my hand. Because I've been using my uh, Lowry frame a lot recently. It ha Actually, my Lowry frame has come in very much handy. It has for my stamped kit. So yeah, that one is a keep for definite. So we've got two more in here. So we have this one and it is by, it is the Joy Sunday kit and it is a snow white and it's on 14 count added so it's two strands of thread. Now the original design for this, I'm, I've got to give the original design there due, is by Boffy Threads. So if you do prefer the original designs, just check out Boffy Threads. You can have a look on eBay as well, you'll find it on there. I do have this kit, the original. In fact, I have most of the originals by Boffy Threads, the Fairy Tales range. But I kind of wanted to try them out on here and see what the difference was. And uh, the difference at the minute is it's just the fabric, really. Because um, with the Boffy Threads, you have the hand-dyed Ada. But obviously with this, you don't get the hand-dyed Ada, it's just on like a white Ada. However, the stitch count, it's pretty good. It's actually really good. I like it. It may feel a slight bit stiffer than it would do if you were using a hand dyed Ada, but I like it. And I've done a fair bit on this because this is actually one of the kits that I was working on. Um, in between my 2,500, well, technically 5,000 stitches that I've completed the last two months. Um, and I stitched these, I had it in a hoop. And that was really fun to do, because it was just with one black 310. That's all I was using. So yeah, it was fun to do. 
Um, so will I be keeping this kit? Yes, I will be keeping this kit because I can see this one being an easy kit to do for if I have to go anywhere um, because I, I won't need a chart or anything. So it'll be quite easy to work on. So yeah, I do like it. I really do like it. Will I stitch my original that I have by Buffy Threads? Yes, I totally will. <laughs> because I've stitched about three or four of the original Buffy Thread kits now. Um, so yeah, like I said, I have most of them. So that is that one. So that's a keep. Now... I've been on the same subject. Now, they had this one as well. Um, I didn't write down on the paper where these were from because whenever I have a review kit now, I always write down on the paper somewhere where it comes from so I can tell you guys. However, I haven't done it on this. Um, so I'm guessing it's either VIP Cross Stitch or Biggest Craft. Now, this is the Beauty and the Beast one. And this one is actually stitched on 11 count Ada, so it's using three strands of thread. So it is thicker, the Ada, but it's also larger. So the fabric in between this and the original is very different because, like I said, the originals you have the hand dyed Ada and it's only like a 14 count. So it's a lot different. But we'll have a look. At what I've done I haven't done a whole lot uh, at first I started stitching at the bottom did a little bit down there and then for some reason I decided to work at the top so I've been doing a little bit at the top as well uh, do I like it yeah I do like it will I carry on stitching it yes I will because like I said it's like with the other one these kits are really easy to use for say if you're on doctor's appointments hospital appointments um they're easy to use for that um i don't know um even on the stitching retreats they're easy to use because for when you start to feel a bit tired but you still want to stitch they're quite easy to do so yeah that is another key so we've gone through that bag down there and so far out of that bag i have parted with nothing <laughs> i'll keep looking that way because sometimes when i'm talking i think my husband can't hear me and he can hear exactly what i'm saying so yeah I'm going to pause you a minute while I get all this slot put back in here and I'm going to grab some more. <coughs> I've just grabbed some more. So yeah, I found this in my stitching bag. I didn't realise that oh, I've just actually been going for my um, craft hold on. I've just grabbed everything out of there. This is my other Mirabilia kit, my Roses of Provence. Um, Will I be keeping this? Of course I'll be keeping this. <laughs> it's a Mirabilia. That is Roses of Provence. I have not worked on this for ages because I've been focusing on the um, Charlotte design that I've been working on. Now the Charlotte design where I've been working, I think it's over a 20, I think it's a 28 count even weave. Um, where this one, it's actually an 18 count Ada and it is very creased very creased at the minute but this is where I'm up to on Charlotte now <laughs> I must have decided that I was uh, going to be clever and try and use parking method on here that's how far I've got on Charlotte at the moment I haven't seen her for a while but yeah, that's how far I am on Charlotte at the minute. So needless to say, I will definitely be keeping that. Because obviously, like I said, it's a Mirabilia. And Mirabilias are not uh, cheap. So I'll be keeping this one. I have actually got another Mirabilia upstairs. Um, I can't remember the name. 
she's got like a green emerald dress on i've not started it yet because i won't start another one until i've uh, finished these ones um if I, if if i manage to finish uh charlotte by april retreat next year then i might might start the other one at the retreat so yeah i'll be keeping this one because without saying i think there might be a couple here that i will will be parting with so the next one is just a paperback i found the cup frozen that's where it was. I found the back of Frozen. So yeah, that can go down there. So this one. I've got this in like a cheaper bag. This is The Little Mermaid. I did have a picture, but I've actually stuck it in the book. We do have a thumbnail down here, but it's a very small one. If you can see her down there, that is Ariel. That is the stitched bit. Don't ask about this one. The stamping on this is awful. And when I say awful, I mean awful. It's... What can I say? I can't even see it. It's very... It's blurry, it's small, and some of the colours morph into the other colours. And I can't see it fully. So, I love Ariel, and this would have made a lovely kit. And I did start it, I started it up there, I started doing the sky. But I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera. But the stamping on it, I don't like it. It's like this here. That colour going into that one, I had to really improvise on this side because it just blended in too much. Like here, it goes into purple and we haven't got... Well, we have got... We haven't got any purple sim... Well, we've got purple symbols there. But yeah, I, I like... I like the design itself. It's like the Snow White one. I love the design, but the stamping's absolute. Yeah, stamping's no good on it. I think the reason being is because uh, they use too much ink. Because normally on the back of a stamped kit, you don't get as much ink like that because it looks like it's even seeped through to the back. I think basically it was too much ink and it basically blurred it all so yeah sadly i'll be getting rid of this one sadly i say because like i said the kit was nice it was it's a really pretty kit and if the stamping was good on it i wouldn't have to, i wouldn't even have to think twice about keeping this one i would have kept it but because the stamping is just awful uh, i'll have to get rid of this one um, this one, for, I did actually buy it myself. I purchased it. I don't know where I got it from though. So that one will go to the side to be passed on. Now the next one I've got is my first ever stamped cross stitch kit that I was sent for a review. It is the cute couple. I was sent this about September time, about three years ago. It was the first time ever that I was asked to do a uh, a review and unboxing. So yeah, it all it's got a special place in my heart. This one has it definitely has. I haven't finished it yet. However, I've done a lot on it. So, so needless to say, I will be keeping this one. It's had a very, 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 very large. Um, areas to stitch as you can see i'm going to hold it back because you won't get to see how much i have actually stitched of it if i don't so i'm mainly working on his jacket now 
and he's have I done I think I've done his trousers yeah I've done his trousers it's just his jacket in between him and the girl at the bottom and then just the girl and then that one is a finish so yeah I'll be keeping that one can't believe that <laughs> I remember that I was so chuffed when I, chuffed. I was so uh, happy when I received this kiss in the post so I think I've tried may have tried stamp cross stitch before but not as much as yeah I have no I'm saying now so yeah I will be keeping that one obviously so we've got one more here now uh, this one <laughs> I'm not too sure about this to be fair I might pass this on to be honest um, for two reasons <laughs> so it is like a girl in the water sort of she's got water around her the um, the original now i'm going to give like i said the person the original due it's a hannah lynn design i wasn't sure at the time about it that's the reason why i got it i think it's one i've purchased myself um i started doing this in tent stitch as well and I, again, I found that I wasn't pleased with it. I wasn't pleased with the tent stitch. Um, so I went back to normal cross stitch. And I've actually gone 70 on this one. Not a 50 by 50 or 70. But, you know, I think I might get rid of this one as well. I don't tend to reach for this one much. I did that a bit of the background with the seagulls and a little bit of the outlining of the hair that's all i've done on that but um yeah i've got another haneline design that i'm working on and it's actually a proper haneline design because i got it from heaven and earth designs it was the free mua princess one so i'm doing that proper so i might actually get rid of this one and just let somebody enjoy it just let someone else enjoy it so yeah like i said be tough be tough so yeah i think that one is going to go as well like i said i've got to cut down on some of these cross stitches so that's all that i'm going to actually do in this video for two reasons we're up to 27 minutes now and my phone battery was only up to 48% so I'll have to cut it short. So in this pile I haven't got as rid of as much as I did in the last video which the recent video I did I got rid of four kits. Um, I've put them in the bag however I've cleared out my cross stitch bag so some of this stuff now I can put back in the cross stitch bag however I've cleared out two kits so that's six kits all together that I've actually that I'm actually parting with I think what I'm going to do with all these kits is I'm going to take them to the charity shop there's a charity shop in town where I live and they're fairly cheaper in there and I know a lot of people go in there as well and um, yeah let somebody enjoy them let someone enjoy them someone else will enjoy uh, working on them so yeah I'm gonna put them in that pile so anyway guys that is where I'm gonna leave it for for now I'm not gonna film any more now tonight because I'm tired and like I said my phone's gonna go out of battery probably in a minute I'm going to put these bits back in my craft bag and I might actually be able to put some stuff in my craft bag that's on the shelf at the moment so um, I can tidy that up a bit as well so yeah um, plans are still sticking the same I'm still sticking to the 2500 stitches on my four pieces on my stamped kits I will do the 2500 stitches on my kits that I'm working on pattern keeper as well because I can keep track on there 
I won't be doing it on my kits like my long dog sampler um, or my partials where I've got paper charts because I just can't count the stitches. So yeah, stamp kits and also kits that I'm working on from Pattern Keeper, I'll do them on there. So anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, please feel free to give the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please feel free to press that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. And don't forget the notifications bell as well, so you'll be notified of when I bring the next video out. In two weeks, a Saturday we'll have another special outing video where the last one i did was blackpool comic con this will be another special outing video and that will be like i said two weeks on a saturday it's actually the day before my birthday so i'm very very excited about that one and yeah just keep your eyes out i love doing these out and about videos I had so much fun doing the Blackpool uh, Comic Con one and I don't know when I was there I was like in my stride and, and I just loved it and I just want to thank everyone for the lovely comments as well on that video it did have a really good response to it and it was lovely like I said it before it was lovely to meet you all and to meet all the vendors as well and um, you were all very very nice so I'm going to get going now and I shall see you again soon. Another quick note, if you are a gamer or your partner's a gamer or you know who, someone who is a gamer, then please feel free to check out my husband's channel which is Crow Angel Gaming. He's recently doing quite a few uploads which are from... I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from Star Wars The Art Republic. And he's actually done a poll up at the minute for votes for which be, um, he should go on next. And he, he's having a response for it. So, yeah, if you're into gaming, please feel free to go and check that out. Um, he's doing really good, on not he? He really is. So, yeah, he's up to 957 subscribers at the moment. So, we'll get in there. <laughs> we'll get in there. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to get going now and I'll see you again soon. So, goodbye for now, guys. Bye.